Welcome. Welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. In the previous video, we learned all about plastic, the different types, behaviors. But in order to turn plastic into something new, you need machines. Machines to work with plastic already exist from the plastic industry. However, their machines are not accessible, very efficient and expensive. And for this reason, they don't like to play around or work with recycled plastic. It might slow down their production or damage their machines. It's just too much risk. Getting new plastic is easier. So we developed our own machines and they are based on the industry ones, except these are affordable and work with recycled plastic. Before we started development, we did a big research on universal parts and resources. So the machines are made with basic tools and materials that should be available anywhere in the world, wherever you live. And we share the blueprints and the instruction videos here online, so anyone should be able to build them. Just to give you a heads up, if you want to beat the plastic industry with these machines on speed and efficiency, it's not going to happen. We're not aiming to produce a new cheap product every three seconds but we're somewhere between the big plastic industry and the completely do-it-yourself, aiming for a small-scale production. You can compare it a little bit with a woodworker, metal worker or ceramist, like a, like a craftsman for plastic. So far, we developed four different machines and each machine has its own function. All right, so here we have the shredder machine and basically this machine chops your plastic waste into small flakes. You can determine the size of these flakes by the mesh inside, so you can make them bigger or smaller. And these flakes are used in the machines to create new things. Here we have the extrusion machine. And it has a very specific output, like this cable that comes out. But you can use this to create 3D printer filament or new raw material, which makes it very interesting. It's a continuous process, which means you can put the plastic in and it just keeps on going. The downside is that it's more difficult to build this machine and it takes a while before you have the right temperature settings. The upside is that once it's going, you can just leave it. And one thing which I really like, if you put a lot of mixed colors in here, it melts very well and it mixes together so you have one new solid color coming out. That's a smooth line of plastic. Here we have the compression machine. Basically, it's an oven where you can apply pressure inside. It's well suited for prototyping and more solid objects. But I also like to use it for experimenting because you have an oven with accurate temperature control. So you can easily do experiments and tryouts. The technique is not as quick as the others for production. However, it is very affordable and easy to make. Here we have the injection machine. Basically, it injects plastic into a mold. The machine is relatively easy to build and it's quite quick for production. You put in some plastic, it heats up and you squeeze it in a mold. And what I really like about it is if you make a detailed mold once, you can easily replicate it and have a very detailed output. Do note that the objects you're going to make are relatively small. It depends what you want to make on which machine you need. But we suggest to focus on one technique first, fully master that. Once you have it, build another machine. And all the machines are built in a modular way, which means you can always upgrade and repair, but also customize them. For instance, you could build a wooden hopper on your extrusion machine, or have the shredder running on wind power, or maybe fully customize it to your needs. We provide the basics, but together with the community, we can make them superior. So if you want a machine, but you can't build it yourself because you're not that handy, we suggest to find a local machine builder, I'm sure he can, or post a topic in our forums where you can meet one. If you're a machine builder and you're looking for a job, go to the same topic, you might find someone. All right, so the next stop, we're gonna pick one of these machines, watch the instruction video and build it.